Hello everybody, this is Cyberton John, and today we are going to be doing not just one, but two things. One of them I did Saturday, the other one I did this Friday. And I think it's actually quite special that I um, actually share it with you guys. Um, so, what I was doing was customizing, and these are my first two customs. And I do apologize for any background noise whatsoever. If you haven't guessed what we are going to be looking at from which toy line, it is Beast Wars Second, one of the Japanese Transformers cartoons. And first one that I did, which was Saturday, here he is. It is none other than, um, Half Shell. So, <clears throat> yeah, here he is, um, just gonna get a close up on that head to get focus. There we go. Um, that head looks really, really nice. Um, I tried to put as much paint, uh, green on it as possible, um, kind of came out as a wash though, so I, I kind of like that, um, feature, a bit of a wash. Um, but yeah, I have learned a couple of things with customizing, um, there are stickers which are not supposed to be there, uh, this crotch sticker for example, and, um, this sticker on the side, um, that one looks much more better than uh, this one, which is kind of a bit mangled. That one's a bit mangled, but yeah. This was originally uh, Snap Trap, and um, I'm going to get him for you now for size comparison. So for size comparison, um, here is my Snap Trap, and I'm just going to take a bird's eye view here. So we can see the differences. Um, there are some pieces I am paint yet because I just don't have the paint to do it. Um, there's the bronze that I require, and um, I'm gonna do a bit of a sticker. Um, I'm gonna paint uh, a sticker that is supposed to be there. Um, I did kind of customize um, well the original stickers. This one uh, that's on there that's a bit mangled, really. It's very mangled. This guy needs some new repro labels, so I I'm gonna have to see if I can get him some new repro labels because. Uh, yeah, those have had better days, really. But um, you, um, as I say, uh, said, um, you can see the difference in um color scheme and eyes as well, and um how detailed um they both look. Um, and I really want to try and um have you guys look at it, uh beyond the fact that this guy is very yellowed um. And happens to have all of his um, accessories but the uh, sword. But yeah, I will get a shield. Another uh, snap trap shield uh, for him. And I'll get his gun. And um, I'll have a look at those. Um, and I'll get those painted up. The paint that I use for these guys are acrylic. Um, I use acrylic paint. And yeah, they, they look um, very... Um, very presentable in acrylic paint, and, um, yeah, I'm transforming the, um, next one, uh, for our second size comparison, um, at the moment whilst I'm speaking. Um, so you can see some, um, really, really cool things there, so, um, the turrets on his are black, turrets on his are green with some hints of black. I actually used a what? Uh, I created a wash with these, uh, which the original toy does not have. I'll, I'll show the, um, I'll show the original picture, um, on the other half of the, uh, screen now. Um, so you can have a look at it, um, and, uh, what I'm gonna do now is we are going to take them to their sea turtle mode. And here they both are, side by side, in, um, turtle mode. So, um, 
with um, half shell, you've got the um, gold and um, red accents here. Uh, the lower jaw is supposed to be bronze. Again, I don't have the bronze, so um, there's that. And um, here is Snap Trap here. If anyone's forgotten how he looks. There we go. Um, I am going to... Sh um, as they're the same mold, um, there is... As they're the same mold, there is no difference in... Oh. As they are the same mold, there is no difference in uh, how you can what you can equip whatsoever. So um, I did test this. Um, he can take the shield and the gun and put that on him. Um, that's that's something that um, can be done with him. Um, the um, we will have a look at um, him uh, with the other guys. Um, as the main combined mode component uh, later on, um, but yeah, um, there we go. Um, I did keep some other stickers, by the way. Um, that's supposed to be bronze, not supposed to be that normal color. Tiny bit of black here. Um, not much black was needed. Um, wish there was more black needed because I had so much black left over. Um, but yeah, um, there you go. Half shell. On to the next one. Um, so here is um, his older crew uh, mate, uh, let's say. Um, I don't know his name at the moment, but um, I will put up in one of the top hand corners his name from the show. Um, but, um, at, there's still room for improvement for both of them, um, I need to do the shoulders again for this guy because they look, well, one of them looks better than the, this one looks very improved. This one's more of a wash, I need to sort that out. Um, with this guy, what I learned when customizing is, always have a pencil on you. Yeah, I am very serious, always have a pencil on you because, um, his head is just so small that my paintbrush was too big to do the eyes, just dab the eyes, so because I would just smudge everything pretty much. So um, what I did was I took a pencil uh, which was kind of blunt. Uh, what you may want to do is sharpen it first so you got a nice um, lengthy piece of lead and then just snap sharp it off and then dab it um, lightly into your red paint and then as accurately as possible, just dab it onto the face just so that it just makes contact. And this was the result. Um, yeah, here we go. That was the result. Um, you can still, uh, you can still make up some, some of the blues and stuff like that, so I've not done a very good job on this figure. Um, what I will note on this one is that there are some rubbing problems, and, um, I will get to those, um, in a moment. Um, I'll, I'll get to the very serious one at the moment in Transformation Placed, um, as well. This is a key factor problem because uh, when I put some acrylic on there and I'm folding that back, uh, the pieces here, uh, they like to rub against that acrylic and just peel it right off. So, um, yeah, I haven't been using that. Um, uh, I haven't been uh, covering that in white. Um, now, this is a very, very serious part. Um, the, the, the leg transformation is where... Um, I'm actually quite worried if the bits that I've done in white are gonna rub. So, um, when you push this in, I'm worried that is gonna rub over time. So, I'm, I'm not gonna transform him as much into, um, sea creature mode. Um, I've obviously just done it for today because, um, I, I need to buy, um, example to show the differences. 
Um, what you can see here is a slight improvement to the paint apps on um, Scalor, who, speaking of Scalor, here he is. Um, yeah, I don't think cameras got to focus on both of those, but here they are. Um, and you can see some very, very um, subtle and um, cool differences. Um, this is based on... Um, them two customs are based on official photos that uh, you will see on the internet. Um, again, these are my first few um, customs that I'm trying, and to be honest, they've saved me a lot of money. I am not willing to pay over 80 quid to get a repaint of Piranacon, essentially. They've saved me quite a lot of money, and I actually had some fun doing them as well. Um, and I'm considering doing some Shattered Glass customs, so I may show those on YouTube as well. Anyway, went off on a tangent there. Let's cut to the chase. So, we're gonna do back view here. There we go. Side view. Very front view. There we go. And there are those. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all of the Piranacons and we are going to put these guys with their Piranacon comrades. So I will see you in a bit. So here they are with their Piranacon comrades and if you could imagine all those in all of these guys in white, gold, green, and silver, um, then, yeah, they make a good addition, um, I believe, to any Transformers. We're gonna now take them all to robot mode again. Um, so, again, I will see you in a bit. And here are all the members in robot mode. Um, now we're going to take them to uh, combined mode and we are going to experience some of the issues that I'm going to come into with um, these customs and what I will have to probably adjust. Um, just to note, the combined ports, um, they go down fine. Um, just something for uh, people, um, well, for me to note. <laughs> so, uh, I'm currently doing the heads, and oh, he's gone off on one. All right. There we go. The heads uh, for the lower legs, they go in absolutely fine. Um, just to know, I, I didn't mess around with anything in there, so they go in absolutely fine. Um, he's going to go in absolutely fine. Um, I'm just going to get the uh, shield here. Um, put that over him. Um, again, I will have to get another version of each piece that creates a just alt. And repaint it. I ha I did try fitting this on. Um, this has not affected the figure in any way. Um, this next bit here, however, um, it will affect the figure, and um, it will affect uh, pretty much this version uh, of the crew that I have created. Um, so when I put him in. Some uh, rubbing paint. So I'm just gonna put him in nice and gently for now. And uh, there's another issue 
uh, that I'm going to show you. So uh, there he is. There he is. Like so, without the combined head. Um, looking pretty cool, may I add. Um, now, um, if we have a look at the combined head, um, there are some pieces of plastic sticking out from sides. You can probably see that even though there's a bit of a blur. Uh, now he's focused. Um, those pieces cause a problem for um, my um, painted um, head because um, I use so much acrylic paint on it. So um, the effect that we get is a rubbing paint effect. Um, so um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. That's as far as I'm going to go because I don't want to force it and I don't want to ruin him. Uh, so there we go. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with this, um, really cool combined mode of Gestalt. Um, and I will see you on the next video. This has been Cybertron John. Peace out.